Tesla Giga Texas casting facility and paint shop are potentially taking really good shape. We have a new video from our friend Joe Techmeyer who has been sending regular updates from Giga Factory Texas. Let's take a look at that and see what is happening. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. We have some really nice update from Tesla Giga, Bur uh, Giga Texas from our friend Joe Techmeyer, who says that Tesla Giga Texas workers may already be building the foundation for the factories, Giga Texas factories, casting facility and paint shop. Tesla owner and drone operator Joe Techmeyer flew his drone around the complex uh, of Giga Factory Texas and discussed all the progress that uh, electric car maker Tesla has made at Giga Factory Texas in this most recent video that Joe has shared with our Torque News visitors. Regarding the casting machine area he says the long excavation area now has been expanded a bit and equally distanced cutouts go around the perimeter this really looks like the casting machine area but unlike giga berlin this one looks to be linear it appears that eight or ten casting machines can fit in this area we'll continue to monitor as they build this out says joe now talk about let's look uh, talk about eight or and uh, 10. If you remember, I've reported from um the known sources that Tesla Giga Berlin will have eight casting machines. But several days ago, I had another Giga Berlin update in which I said that Idra uh, Corporation, an Italian casting machine builder, is building from eight to 12 uh, casting machines. And we didn't know whether where those extra four casting machines, uh, which, are, which are called Giga Presses, uh, are going to be. But now it looks like Giga uh, Texas is also going to use casting machines. These uh, machines are going to replace the KUKA robotic arms, which is going to make the process of building electric vehicles more effective, um, less expensive, and uh, with unified body type, which means you will have fewer body types. It has pros and cons, and uh, the pros are that it's going to be lighter, less expensive, and it's going to add the power and range and performance of an electric car. But the cons, people are saying that if, God forbid, you have an accident, you have to change the entire body or how how are you going to fix if the whole rear or the entire body is just one uh, casting? Um, Maria Merano from testaradi.com notes that the most interesting part of, of, of Joe Techmeyer's discussion referred to changes to the great big pit, as Joe calls it. The drone operator, uh, Joe, noted that workers were busy adding more concrete to the big pit area located at the south side of Giga Texas. You're seeing Joe's videos, those relevant parts in this uh, video on your screen right now. In one of the more developed parts of the big pit, the drone operator Joe noticed uh, more column footings take shape. Uh, there were four column footings near a moisture barrier that worked, uh, that worked to center the foundation of Giga Texas' first potential building. Another set of column footings were visible being formed besides the structure with the moisture barrier. Um, so as you can see, uh, Tech Meyer's video revealed much more than the potential sightings of Giga Texas casting facility and paint shop. Tesla seems to have ramped work on the site as multiple clearings are either being formed uh, or growing with each passing uh, day. Besides Tesla Model Y production, Giga Factory Texas will have the uh, daunting job of manufacturing Tesla's unique electric uh, pickup truck, the Cybertruck, and the Cybertruck will be Tesla's first entry into the pickup truck market and holds great potential for the company growth in many different ways. Tesla plans to start the initial Cybertruck production in 2021 as well. So, so good news is Tesla's Giga Texas casting facility and paint shop are potentially taking good form. Let me know what your thoughts are on these developments at Giga Texas. Do you think things are going really fast and at nice speed? This is Armin Harian from torquenews.com. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story have a wonderful day god bless you everyone and see you soon